by um, Christ dying on the cross for us, and we've been redeemed from the curse of the law. How many of you know that you are redeemed tonight? You've been redeemed from poverty, sickness, disease, and death, all those things that try to come against you, you have been redeemed from. There is nothing that can come upon you that you can't overcome because of what Christ has already done for you. And on um, Sunday and Monday, Pat, Brother Hagen went and talked of some great things about us possessing the land. The, the land is already ours. Healing is already ours. Jesus already paid the price for us. It's us to go out and walk in. We can have as much of the land that we want. It depends on how much that we want to walk on and get. And so tonight, I just encourage you, no matter what you are here, if you haven't gotten it already, if there's a healing that you need tonight, if you haven't already got it, take it because it's yours to possess. Christ has already redeemed us from that curse. the wall, 
and your mountain seems so tall and the enemy is quickly closing in this is what you did talking loud and he boasts himself so proud and he's telling you all the little things he's gonna try and do to you you just look him in the face and put the devil right back right back in his place
sing something else? Seem like we're not through singing. Hallelujah. Oh, you. 
Amen. The 126th Psalm said, When the Lord turned again to captivity of Zion, then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We're off, we're glad. That's what makes us act like we do. We're glad. He didn't say we're sad. He said we're glad. <laughs> Glory to 
God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord has done great things for us. Sad, glad. Amen.
I wouldn't laugh if I was you. I wouldn't laugh if I was you. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Some on this other side here. Hallelujah! <laughs> 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 
When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them the dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Yes. <laughs> and our tongue was singing. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
I wouldn't laugh if I was you. No, uh -uh.
My, 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 my. <laughs> oh, fuck a soda name the Katie Gilizara. Thank you. Good. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I wouldn't laugh if I was you. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> yeah, you can. Yes, you can. Devil's a liar. as solemn as you can. Bless you. Be blessed. 
<laughs> be, be, be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Ah. Be blessed. Be blessed. God, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Be blessed. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I wouldn't laugh if I was you. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Glory to his holy name. <laughs> <laughs> Be blessed. <laughs> Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. <laughs>
close to you because the Lord said that anointing that'll come upon you it hasn't been in manifestation here yet 100% about 90 I guess the best he said when you get within three or four feet of people they'll either start laughing dancing or fall that's the reason I have to get close to you for that anointing to be transmitted to you you say what is the benefit of that anointing it's the anointing of joy hallelujah church needs a restoration of joy. Hallelujah!
I'll go ahead and laugh and get blessed. sleeper and drop one. I need to get his attention. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Give me a key real quick. Yeah, A, a flat or something. Now, how about uh, C? Hallelujah. I've had this come up in my spirit all night. Freedom. Freedom. Hallelujah.
All the bondages are past And I am free at last Freedom Freedom I am really free Everybody freedom
black Free from not having enough
free, are free, are free. Hallelujah! 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 Oh, glory to God. Are you free? Yes! <laughs> it's good to be free. Hallelujah. Somebody must, well, I don't know if I'm, you get free by believing that you're free. If he says you're free, believe you're free. Agree with him. Proclaim you are, and then you will feel it. Hallelujah. Praise God. You can be seated. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pardon. Heads bowed and eyes closed, if you would, in attitude of reverence to the Lord. We are free. But, Father, I pray that as we close this service, be every person and any person under the sound of my voice that's not accepted you and have not obtained the freedom that we're talking about and proclaiming, that you'd cause them to know right now that they can be free cause them to know that they're lost help them to realize that hell is a terrible place and real help them to realize heaven is a wonderful place but to go there they must be born again I pray that you'd reveal to every person here that's lost their lost condition draw them prompt them urge them convict them by your spirit draw them to yourself tonight to respond to you and give their heart and life to you I ask father in Jesus name Father, I pray if there be those here like the prodigal son of old that was in Father's house, they have been saved, but they've, like we say, backslid. from you, went back out in the world, been living like a sinner, been living like a heathen, and they need to come home tonight. Draw them to you tonight, Lord. Cause them to know that you'll forgive them and cleanse them, and nothing, none of their sin will be mentioned to them or remembered against them because the blood will wash it away. I pray that you draw everyone by your spirit that they'd respond to you, help them to, Lord, and to be reconciled to you tonight in Jesus' name. With heads bowed and eyes closed, saints in an attitude of reverence before the Lord. Friend, if I was praying for you and God is dealing with your heart and you know he's tugging at your heart and you know you've never given your heart and life to the Lord and you need to lift up your hand and with an uplifted hand you're saying, pray for me, Brother Keith. I I'm going to do it. I'm going to give my heart and life to the Lord. Any and everywhere in this place, it's real simple. When did you give your life to the Lord? If you haven't done that, you need to do that tonight. Now's the accepted time, the Scripture says. Today is the day. If God's dealing with your heart, you respond to Him and move when He deals with you. Maybe you're like the prodigal son of old that we mentioned, and you, you've been saved, but you've gotten away from God. If that's you, respond to Him. If you'd say, Brother Keith, I, I need to get back right with God tonight, lift up your hand. If you'd say, pray for me, Brother Keith, pray for me. I'm coming home. I'm getting right with the Lord tonight. Yes, thank you. Yes. 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 Thank you. Now, those that got, there are those that need to join these. God's dealing with your heart. Don't put him off like the Bible says. Harden not your hearts as in the day of provocation. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yes. If God's dealing with you, respond to him. Yes. Yes. In the balcony. If God's dealing with you, don't say, well, I, I don't know. I, I like partying. I like to do this. I don't, you know, uh, the devil's a liar. He'll tell you if you come follow Jesus, it'll spoil your fun. He's a liar. God is the God of life. 
you don't know how to live till you come to him. The only thing that the Lord will, will tell you to stay away from are things that will hurt you and kill you, destroy you. Come to him. Give your heart and life to him tonight. If you've never done that, you need to do it tonight. As we look again, yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yes, if you need to join these, don't, don't put the Lord off. He's your creator. Don't put him off. Respond to him. If he's dealing with your heart and you haven't already, lift up your hand and say, pray for me, Brother Keith. I need to give my heart. Yes, yes, I need to give my heart and my life to the Lord tonight or I need to come back home. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, wonderful. Yes. Join these if you, yes. If God's dealing with you, yes. Respond to him, yes. Yes, people will respond to him. Don't you be left out. If God's dealing with you and you don't respond, you'll kick yourself tonight. You'll toss, won't be able to rest and sleep. You'll be miserable. And yet you can go home changed, yes, with the peace of God in your heart, washed, knowing that your name is in the Lamb's book of life, knowing that you're saved and part of the family of God. One more invitation tonight. You might say, Brother Keith, I'm a Christian and I know that I am, but I've never been filled, never been filled with the Holy Ghost and spoken with other tongues like I hear that you folk doing around here. Friend, that's available to every child of God. I don't care what you've been told. Every child of God has a right to be filled and to speak with other tongues. And if you don't speak with tongues, you can receive tonight. You can be empowered from on high. If that hasn't happened to you, would you lift up your hand and say, Brother Keith, pray for me. I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost tonight. I want to speak in tongues. I want to be empowered. Yes, 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 yes. As we look one more time, yes, yes, yes. Praise God. Good, good. Listen to me carefully, friends. If you lifted your hand or you should have lifted your hand, I want you to stand up on your feet. I'm going to pray for you. Like I said, I want you to stand up on your feet to come give your heart and life to the Lord, to come back home, to come be filled with the Holy Ghost. If you lifted your hand, you should be standing up. If you're not standing up, then you're backing out. You're yielding to the flesh. That's a bad thing. If you lifted your hand, there was a reason why you lifted your hand. Stand right on up. Stand right on up. The Lord says, if you're not ashamed of me, I won't be ashamed of you. This is part of it, being bold enough, not ashamed of the Lord, to stand up and respond to him. Yes, glory to God. Yes, yes, wonderful. Now, if you're standing, I'm going to pray for you just like I said. I want you to come down here in the front and meet me. Yes, glory to God. Yes, wonderful. Yes, I want you to come come right down. If you're standing, lifted your hand or you should have, come right down here in the front. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray over you like I said. Come to receive Jesus. Come to be born again. Come to come back home to the Lord if you've been backslid. Come to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Come. Come. You know if God's dealing with you. Come. Which, come Hallelujah. to Jesus. Come. And oh, yes. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus. Praise you, Lord. If you lifted your hand, or you should have, Respond. Now, friend, if you don't have to be moving, don't move. Other folk that's just leaving or whatever, don't do that. Respect what God's doing with these people's lives now. If you lifted your hand or you should have lifted your hand, move and respond. Come. Glory to God. I'm so glad you've come. I'm so glad you responded to the Lord. You'll get what you came for. You'll get what you came for. Yes. Come right on. Yes. To receive Jesus. To come back home. To be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Come right on. Yes. Glory to God. Yes, I'm so glad you've come. Oh, thank God. You'll get what you came for. You'll get what you came for. We'll wait for you. If you should have lifted your hand, but you didn't, don't let the devil rob you. Come right on. Come quickly. We'll wait for you from the balcony, from here. To accept Jesus, to give your life to it. To come back home. To be filled with the Holy Ghost. Come quickly. Yes. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Saints, let's lift our hands and thank God for these people's lives being changed. Oh, thank you, Master. Yes, wonderful. To accept Jesus. To give your heart and life to him. To come back home. To be filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, glory to God. Oh, I'm so glad you've responded to the Lord, friends. So glad. 
you're going to be changed tonight. You're going to leave this place different. Close your eyes. God's already ministering to you, but close your eyes. Lift one hand up toward heaven. I'm going to pray over you right now just like we said. Father God, I am so thankful for these precious, dear souls. You died. You paid a terrible price for them, Lord, and you have bought them, and they have responded to you. I thank you that you said that those that come to you and that the Father draws to you, you would in no eyes cast out. But you have received every one of them according to your word. Thank you that the power of your blood cleanses them, washes them, and they are changed by the power of your spirit tonight in Jesus' holy name. Oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Friends, look at me if you would. God's on you. He's all over you. Things are happening. And this is the beginning. This is not all of it. This is so important that we don't want to rush what God is doing right now. We, we're going to do some of the things in the service. We want you to go to a place of prayer set aside here in this building. Just a few steps back this way. There are people there that are trained to minister to you one-on-one -on -one to make sure that you receive everything that you've come for before you leave this place. Also, we have some materials we want to put in your hands. Would you turn and face this brother right here waving this Bible? Please follow Follow him right now to that place of prayer to receive further ministry. Let's rejoice as they go. Hallelujah. Follow him to that place of prayer. Yes, thank you, Lord. Just one moment further for him. Father God, we thank you for these. We pray your hand strong on every prayer room worker. Manifest your presence in that room further, we pray. Help every one of them to yield fully to your spirit and receive completely and wholly. And may not one of them ever be the same again after tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you glad you came? Did you receive anything? Are you taking anything back with you? Yes, glory to God. Hallelujah. Brother Craig. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. Just what a, what a way to wrap it up. Amen. Let's all stand up. Praise God. We got some prayer cloths here. So let's just lift our, reach our hands out toward these cloths as we pray for them. Heavenly Father, we thank you now as we lay our hands upon these cloths, Father. We thank you now for the healing in the morning flowing into these cloths to effect a healing and a cure in the bodies as they're laid upon the sick, Father. We thank you if there be any evil spirits present, they have to go in the name of Jesus. We thank you now for the testimonies we will hear in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Well, don't forget, if you order the complete set of tapes, they're available in the East Lobby. If you need to order tapes, video, or audio, you can do that in the West Lobby. If you want to buy it. They shall lift up their voice, they shall sing.